One of the books that really inspired me as a youngster was one of the first full-length novels I read. Well, it's meant to be an autobiography called The Long Walk by Slavomir Wicks, a Polish author, and it told about his escape from the gulag in Siberia with other people, including an American, I think an American colonel, and how they went through the snows of Siberia. Um, they had to hunt animals to survive, and they met up with um, a young woman. They walked the Gobi Desert, and various of them died on the way. And I think four emaciated men made it through to northern India. And I found the book absolutely fascinating as a youngster, and I read it and read it and reread it. Because in those days, Holmes didn't have as many books as some do now. And it was always um, about the excitement, the adventure. Even, and it was such a well-written book that even when you knew who got through and who died and who fell down the crevasse and who drank poisoned water, it was still exciting to reread. So I think I've always had a bit of an adventurous streak and probably it was also a book that encouraged me to travel. The book's since been made into a film called The Way Back and there's been quite a lot of controversy about whether it was a true story, whether it was um, a series of other people's stories put together or whether it was completely fictional. But for me, that doesn't reduce the impact of reading those adventures for the first time. I still like reading a lot, um, whether it's for finding out how other cities are managing with their strategies, whether it's finding out the state of climate change, or whether it's just relaxing. Whether it's a book from the 19th century, I've still got a bit of a fondness for uh, Dickens, or whether it's the latest science fiction. I love having new ideas shared in an exciting way with me, and what better way to do that than by reading a book.